abundance, achievement, success, love, doing things, managing, getting there, having that success. We all want that. And we all want to achieve in order to feel good, in order to feel relaxed after we've achieved it. We know, no pain, no gain. We've been working hard at it. We are doing everything. But yet somehow we are sabotaging ourselves. We are diverting, suppressing, procrastinating. We forget about our commitments. We need rec that somebody reminds us we need a coach. We need that mentor. Yes, but. My name is Jure. I've been working with clients for over 15 years, since 2009, I am before. I've studied physical education, I'm a professor, but I've always worked with clients, with people, consulting, mentoring, coaching, bringing them to the other level, as well as myself first, being relaxed in that sense. And I've been upgrading my coaching style, my coaching approach, and in the last few years, I've been using a very special method that is a system, that is a program that can help us relax. And this is what I call now how to be relaxed for abundance manifestation, how to understand important subjects and your body. I was a people pleaser. I always wanted to give everything to everyone. I always wanted the people around me feel good. I was always careful how they feel around me because I wanted to please. In that sense, I didn't want others to suffer. I was suffering. I was creating and inventing crisis and drama in my life because I wasn't ready to enjoy it. I was always caught up in that sense, something needs to go wrong or something needs to be, or something will go wrong, or something needs to be difficult in order for me to to deserve success in order to, for me to deserve abundance. Do you feel like that as well sometimes? How much you're trying, how much you're giving, how much you're learning, how much you're reading, how much you're invest, and yet you go around in that vicious cycle. Maybe sometimes you go out, you achieve an improvement, you get things better in life, you fix them, you correct them, you improve just in order to fall back or deeper in the pitfall after. Because you're forgetting the main thing, your body, how to include it. Let's, let's give you an example. Our body, like the metaphor, um, car. We are probably, you have a car. Most of the cars nowadays have sensors that beep, 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 even if it's for the seat belt or for up and uh, front and back when you're driving it and you're too close to something or front back or sideways even or they park alone even that's working now and some other advanced technologies imagine that our bodies are practically the same we have sensors not just for the vicinity of being close or too far of someone or love we are creative goddess we are creative gods that can develop and create life. We create life and that's a miracle. So we need to understand how our body works, how these sensors and receptors work, how they are blinded. Because in our childhood, we've put, we've put a blindfold, we've put a duct tape, like in a car, you, you know, you, you completely, uh, direct and completely close down the, the whole screen. You don't see anything, not your mileage, kilometers, not your screen of the air condition, nothing, no sensor, no camera, nothing. That's how we learn to live in childhood. And that's not good with this, with these sensors and receptors that are in our body that do not come into our brain. How can you live? How can you drive? You're lost if you don't have a GPS. Nowadays, we are lost if you don't have a GPS. You don't know how to call someone because we don't remember the, uh, the, the phone number. All of it is in our smart, smartphone or smart car. The same is in our body. If we don't know how to use our body properly, efficiently, we are using it improperly and inefficiently. And that's bad. You pay the price if you do not respect the signaling, the messaging of our bodies, if you do not include it. That's why you work hard, you do a lot of things. Uh, it's like driving fast, and then you're in stress. 
because you bump the car here and there and they're all like in India or in any other country in Africa or something like that where the cars are all bumped because there's no sensors or they don't even care anymore. Or in Italy it's the same sometimes when they park in Rome. So in that sense, from childhood, we've been bumping our car and our sensors are distorted. We've suppressed a lot of feelings. We've completely avoided and denied a lot of feelings. And in that sense, living from childhood with those suppressions, with that duct tape, it's, it's hard. It's hard to live now. It's hard to be relaxed. It's hard to understand that it's not our brain. It's our body that has this filter and we need to put this filter away. In the AEQ method we use, or clinical somatics, there's an expression, sensory motor amnesia. This is this duct tape that's covering, that's blocking you to be relaxed. Or when you are relaxed, you're thinking, oh, I'm too relaxed, something will go wrong, something will happen because it's, it's too calm, it's too nice. And we're attracting this. How to finally be relaxed for abundance manifestation? I'm not, I'm referring to abundance in health and love, not just money or material stuff. So because our parents already has this, had this duct tape, they, they couldn't teach us. So now we need to learn. Learning is the main aspect here. How to reignite, reset, reconnect body-mind, reconnect the left and right brain hemisphere. This is an important, mm, an important subject that we need to uh, attach our body to and our exercises. So through the exercises, we open up and start to feel ourselves, start to feel the emotions, start to feel the feelings, everything. It's not nice. It's also entropy, bad feelings like rage, frustration, disappointment, uh, despair, uh, disgust, uh, revenge, and some other things that are bad, that are not created. But we also need to learn how to feel the good emotions, the joy, the pleasure, the love, uh, and some anger. Anger is manifestation. Anger is good. You start changing things. So you learn all of this and you become efficient in driving your car, your body that is. Through the exercises, which is the main important fundamental aspect and factor. Lying down, feeling your body, learning where this duct tape is set and put. How to take it off slowly. And then all of it comes up and then you stop distorting, you stop suppressing, you start confronting. Because if you distort, suppress, avoid, deny, you're gonna get a ticket from a police officer if you drive the car in a bad way, breaking the law. With the body, it's the same in life. And life is the body, we have energy here. So in order, for instance, any athlete or a successful business person, they all visualize and they're all saying, you need to feel it. All the gurus are saying it. You need to feel it with every cell of your body that you're the Olympic champion. Maybe you don't want to be Olympic champion. Maybe you just want to have a better job. Maybe you just want someone to respect you, your wife or your boss or your husband or your children or your parents. Maybe you just want some change and you're ready to do it all. In that sense, what I'm referring to, that you connect with your body. When you connect with your body, you begin to recognize, you become aware, then you can accept it, and then you can change it. Otherwise, if you're just thinking and you're just visualizing and some things do happen, some things do connect with the body, but it's not enough. It's about the holistic, the big approach that you become relaxed in order to manifest abundance. So we de-tape, we put this tape off, we begin to relax the whole body. And even if you think this doesn't work with me, I'm born under unlucky stars. I don't have luck in life. I cannot win a lottery. I cannot do anything. Well, you can when you learn how to control and guide your nervous system from being in stress, contracted, because you're anxious, because you're depressed, because you have a disease, because bad things happen to you, because you're in downward spiral, attracting and manifesting bad things, it's in order to stop. Bad things happen more and more because they wanna stop you, they wanna slow you down. And when you do slow down, when you slow down, 
when you become quiet and you learn how to relax your body and you teach it how to use properly your body, then you begin to manifest abundance in the other way that you've been accustomed to. So recognizing, connecting, uh, and here's another example I remembered. You know how you're angry that all of the rich people are so at ease, are so relaxed, and you say they can be relaxed, they have everything. Of course they can feel like that because they don't need to work or they don't need to be struggling, suffering in life. Well, that's the hack. But you can have it. First, you're relaxed and then things start happening in your life. But your nervous system in the subconsciousness, not just consciously, in your subconsciousness that you're relaxed. Even if you have chronic pain, chronic disease, chronic issues, you can do it. You can slow down and learn. And then you become a millionaire before you're a millionaire. Then things start flowing to you. First relax your whole body and then you can visualize and then you get solutions and you resolve and you put things in order. That's the main thing. That's the main abundance and health attraction material. You, your whole body. This is the new approach. So I'll be explaining uh, every hour that we'll meet during this program. I'll be explaining for half an hour and half an hour you'll be doing the exercise, um, completely embodying yourself, really relaxing your body to the parasympathetic nervous system, slowing down. Only then you can hear. Many scientists, Nikola Tesla and everyone else has said, in the silence there are solutions. In the silence you can get answers. So this is what we are doing. And it's fun. It's fun. Not as easy. At the beginning it's fun, then it dips down to get the acceleration of exponential growth. But it's slow. We need to learn how to breathe, how to connect with our system, how to understand how the environment that is around us, our relationships affect us that we stop breathing. You know, when the mom calls, when the partner calls, when something happens to the children, you have a reaction, you have a, an instinct. You contract. Learning how to relax these things and not staying in an instinctual reaction response. Probably you're, you've been with the duct tape since childhood in contracted mode. Of course you cannot manifest abundance and love and health. Of course not, because you contract it and you're not even aware of it. So once you change your breathing patterns, which we will train, once you change yourself, you know the saying, you begin to change the environment. And when you put things in order in your environment, then you can breathe, then you are relaxed because things are in order and you have a, a reason to be relaxed. So that's the whole game. That's the whole deal of learning. And you are learning like I have been learning and I can teach you that you yourself activate and ignite this inner power of manifesting abundance. Scroll down just a little bit, sign in the free webinar and then sign in also if you're already ready. You can ask me any questions. You have my contacts of the Instagram, social media, or wherever you can find me on the email and ask me anything that we start relaxing you, that you really do it in the whole embodiment. See you on the other side, relaxed side, where you'll be having life in order. Thank you.